Well, good morning. This is Pastor Keith Hodges, and I want to welcome you today to Everyday Sunday. Today, we're going to continue our series entitled The ABCs of the Faith, 26 Keys to Unlocking a Life-Giving Faith. And again, a life-giving faith is a faith in Jesus Christ that changes your heart and as a result, changes your world. So today, the letter that we're on is the letter G. And if you're going to have a life-giving faith that changes your heart and changes your world, you're going to have to tap into what we want to talk about today, and that is generosity. Generosity, we're going to see, is a key that's going to unlock the harvest of God in your life and allow you to experience the abundance and the supernatural increase that God desires for your life. So listen with me as we look in Luke chapter 6. And I want to read several scriptures to you this morning. Luke 6 verse 38, Jesus says this. He says, Give, and it will be given to you with good measure, pressed down, shaken together, and running over will be put into your bosom. For with the same measure, listen to that, for with the same measure that you use, it will be measured back to you. Jesus said, Give, and it will be given unto you. Be generous. Why? Because generosity is the key that unlocks the harvest that comes into your life. With the same measure that you use to give in generosity is the same measure that it comes back to you. So here's the good news. Through gener through generosity, we get to determine the size of our harvest. We get to determine how God blesses us, prospers us, increases us, adds value to us, and elevates us in every aspect and every area of our lives. Give and it will be given unto you. Second Corinthians 9 verse 6, Paul says this, but this I say, he who sows sparingly will also reap sparingly. He who sows bountifully will also reap bountifully. Galatians 6 verse 7 and 8 says this, Do not be deceived. God is not mocked. For whatever a man sows, that he will also reap. He who sows to his flesh will of the flesh reap corruption. And he who sows to the Spirit will of the Spirit reap everlasting life. So think about this. The size of your harvest is determined by the size of your seed. So generosity is key. If I'm going to unlock a life-giving faith that's going to change my life and change my world, I'm going to have to unlock generosity. I'm going to have to step in and and embrace a generous spirit because the size of my harvest, the blessing that God can bring to me is determined by my willingness to give to other people. My generosity determines my harvest, my increase, and my abundance. So I can't receive what I'm not willing to give. And the more I'm willing to give, the more I am open to receive the bounty, the abundance, and the blessing, spiritually, relationally, financially, physically, that God wants to bring into my life. Be not deceived. God is not mocked. Whatever you sow, you will reap. So if I sow to the flesh of the flesh, I reap corruption. If I sow to the Spirit, doing the things that please the Spirit of God, from the Spirit, I reap everlasting life, perpetual, continual life that manifests itself. Think about this. That manifests itself relationally in my relationships, that manifests itself physically in my body as with health and wholeness, that manifests itself financially in my, in my pocketbook, my checking account, my savings account, my business, my ministry. They all prosper as a result of my generosity. So here's the good news. Let me give you this good news today. Uh, no one else determines the size of your harvest but you. Uh, you cannot blame your family, the economy, the government, your neighbor, your spouse, your boss. You can't say, the world's against me and I'm not prospering. I'm not spiritually, relationally, or financially prospering because the world's against me. No, your harvest is determined by the generosity of your seed. And here's some good news. If you want to increase your harvest, it's simple. You control that. You control your harvest. Increase your seed. Increase the generosity by which you're sowing out. And you will, without a shadow of a doubt, God is not mine. Whatever a man sows, you will reap. You will reap a greater harvest. So let me give you three areas real quick we need to be generous in. I think we need to be generous with our time. We need to invest our time and energies and efforts in other people. We need to be generous with our time. We need to honor God with our time. We need to invest spiritually with our time, financially, physically. You have to invest your time. So we need to be generous with our time. Don't be stingy. Don't be self-absorbed. Be generous in investing time in other people. We need to be generous with our talents. We need to take the abilities that God has given us and use them to help other people. We need to help other people stand on our shoulders. We need to take the influence that we 
have and use it to open doors for other people. Don't be stingy. Be generous with your talents. Don't just use your abilities to prosper yourself. Use your abilities and talents to prosper and help other people. And then last but not least, we need to be generous with our treasure, the three T's, our time, our talent, and our treasure, our money. We need to be generous with our money. We need to honor God with our money. It's called the tithe. We need to be generous in helping the poor and helping those that are in need. Why? Because God loves a generous spirit. And the way to increase the size of your harvest is you get to increase the size of your seed. Generosity puts a bountiful seed out so that a mighty harvest can come back. Let me close with three scriptures. Proverbs eleven twenty five says, The generous soul will be made rich, and he who waters others will himself be watered. Proverbs 22, 9 says, He who has a generous eye will be blessed, for he gives his bread to the poor. Isaiah 32, 8, I love this scripture. But a generous man devises generous things, and by generosity he shall stand. A generous man devises generous things, and by generosity he shall stand. I want to bless you today in the name of Jesus as we embrace a generous spirit and set the standard for a mighty harvest in our lives today. God bless you today in Jesus' name.